welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a Studio Ghibli themed letter and this is for Sophie Smith. So Sophie, if you're watching, please click off now if you want this letter to be a surprise. Um, so what you'll need for this letter is some washi tape. You'll need a whole bunch of stickers. I got these all off AliExpress and they're all slightly Japanese themed. Um, I've also got some of these cutouts. I've cut these out of um, travel magazines. If you pop into your local travel agent, you can ask for um, the Japan themed travel books and they're totally free. So they're really good to use if you don't want to be buying stationary crafts. I'm also going to use these tags to put the washi tape samples on and a bit of twine as well. I've also got this adorable little pen that I got off AliExpress as well and I'm gonna pop that in to match the theme. So you'll also need to grab some envelopes and I've also got a whole bunch of pretty paper that I got from Daiso. So I got inspired to make a Studio Ghibli theme from my old sketchbook. So I actually sketched this picture of Totoro when I was about 14 or 15 and um, I didn't want to rip it out and use the actual sketch so I've just photocopied it here. So Sophie actually asked me to do a Japan themed letter. So um, throughout her letter she had references to a lot of the Studio Ghibli films. Um, so I decided that it was a perfect theme for me and I love it when you guys give me a theme because it really challenges me and I like to see what I make up. At the start of these um, videos I actually have no idea what I'm going to do until I get to the end so most of the time I'm literally just making it up on the spot. Um, my whole lounge room and usually my kitchen table is just filled with um, stationery all over it and craft supplies just because I'm moving and sorting through things and matching things together so behind the scenes you don't really get a glimpse of what my <laughs> creative process is. I kind of show you the clean slate on camera but um, yeah it really is a challenge when you guys give me a theme because I never know what it's going to end up like. Um, I just kind of go off the flow and match things together and see where it leads. So as you can see I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along um, and I decided to kind of keep it really simplistic. I didn't want him on a really colourful picture and um, I put a little bit of writing around and then I thought it was just still a little bit too plain. Um, so I've popped some washi on there and some stickers to brighten up and make it look like it is like a little collage that you can either frame or just keep or pop it in a little scrapbook or whatever you do with your pen pal letters. Now, I actually thought I bought a lot of Totoro themed um, stickers, but I actually realised they were um, temporary tattoos, which wasn't a bad thing. Most of the time they do stick on the page, but as you can see with the little Totoro writing, he didn't stick at all. So I've just put a few little Japanese stickers on instead. So the next thing I'm creating is this little pocket flip book. So I'm not actually sure what people call it. I'm just going to call it an envelope flip book because I don't know what the right term is. So I've just started on the outside decorating first and um, it just gives me a feel of what I want the theme to be. I love this little guy. He says free hugs on his little shirt and I get a lot of these little stickers where they've um, really made this, the characters individual and unique. So on the inside I've popped again some prints that I've cut out from a travel magazine. Again these are just free magazines you'll grab in your local travel agency um, and I really recommend it because it is a free source of getting images um, and you can do a lot with it if you are traveling or you're just scrapbooking for even for your own country. If you're going to be sending um, pen pal letters it's also a great way if you want to show other people what your country's like because it's got fun facts and it's um, got all the main icons. So on the inside I've just kind of made it look like it's sort of like a little travel album. 
So I'm just making sure that the pictures don't stick to the envelopes just because I do want them to turn into a little pocket. Now I'm just popping down some little notes so she actually recognises that they are little pockets and I'm popping some little goodies in each one of them. So the first one is these beautiful little Japanese themed stickers. The next little pocket is just a whole bunch of little bits and pieces I've got from you guys. So these are things that I have received in my postal box and a few of my own little cutouts as well. Um, and I just always like reusing things that people give me. I don't collect or hoard a lot of my stationery. Most of the time everything that comes in I usually send back out or I reuse in some way in another letter. And the last one here is just some washi samples and again I've just used these little tags um, and I've popped a bit of twine around the top to make it look a little bit pretty. These three washies are actually my favourite washies. I use these all the time um, and I've used them a lot more lately because I am creating my little travel journal for Japan. In the next few days I will be uploading my travel journal setup and itinerary so I'm really excited to show you guys and have used this washi tape so much throughout that video. So now I'm just decorating the little envelope that I'm going to be putting my letter into. Um, this little guy, he's from Spirited Away and um, I found him on Pinterest. I just typed in Studio Ghibli DIYs and um, how to draw him came up and I thought it was so cute because he's got that little umbrella covering the little dust bunny. So I love him so much and he's super easy to draw. You don't have to be an amazing drawer to um, perfect this. And now I'm just going to be decorating the letter as well. So I don't usually decorate my letters but I thought it would be really fun today to decorate this one because I got new writing paper and it's very simplistic and I wanted to jazz it up with some cute little stickers and some washi tape. So this silver washi tape I'm pretty sure was from my sister and I love it in combination with this blue one and I got the blue one from a pen pal as a little um, sample and I run out at the end of this video so I'm so sad I'm gonna have to try to find this washi online because I really like it. Um, as you can see I'm just following the theme of just the two washi tapes um, put on top of each other and then the few little stickers quite minimalistic just to decorate it and make it look pretty. And lastly, I've just got this little fat guy from Spirited Away again. I thought he was so cute, so I had to pop him on top. And I love those little 3D stickers as well. So that's all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Because I'll keep doing themed uh, mail for you if you guys enjoy it. Um, so thanks again and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!